What up, family? It's your boy SCN TV, man. Coming back at y'all with a news update. Now, um, of course, we all know about Lil Jeff. I just did a, uh, another video about him, letting everybody know about his death. I actually did a little digging, a little bit more investigating, whatever you want to call it, and I found out what happened. Um, apparently, Lil Jeff was sliding on a gang called Trap City. Trap City's hood is uh, 66 in Rhodes. And, um, and Lil Jeff was one of many that was sliding on Trap City. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they slid on Trap City. Trap City got the bussing. They got the yakking. And Lil Jeff got hit. Now, um, there's a couple things dealing with this whole story that are still not clear. But we do know these few things trap city and the bloodhounds used to be clicked up they actually had a click that they named 6679 you know this was representing their alliance this alliance was broken up because a guy that went by the name of z money was backdoored by trap city now um according to rumors a guy named lil or lil actually lost his life behind Z Money dying as well. A fatal shooting yesterday evening, 19-year-old Jaleel Goins was pronounced dead at Rush University Medical Center. But police and nearby residents tell us the incident began in the 1300 block of West Taylor Street, where Goins was a passenger in a rideshare and was shot. Then the rideshare driver drove Goins to the hospital. Z Money was a well-loved member of the Bloodhounds. As a matter of fact, most of the bloodhound members most of the younger members that were around his age got z money tattooed somewhere on them um their face their arms their legs their fingers and everything you know what i'm saying z money was real 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 tight with Lil jeff and q50 you know what i'm saying this was they guy guy you know so um them sliding on tribe city had become damn near a every other day thing, you know? We all know that Bloodhound Lil Jeff in specific had a lot of enemies, but the beef with Trap City was a little bit deeper because they actually knew each other. They were in a 10 year alliance, y'all, before, you know, before things got messed up. So these people knew a lot about each other, you know? So when Z Money died, it was a lot more personal because Z Money was close to a lot of those guys as well. Why Z Money died, I'm not sure. But I do know for a fact that Trap City and the Bloodhounds broke off their alliance and ended up beefing behind what happened to Z Money. And I do know for a fact that Lil Jeff was not over there chilling. Lil Jeff went over there to slide. Now, by them saying Lil Jeff died on the sidewalk in front of the house. Um, and this ain't nothing I heard. This is just something that I've, you know, I've come up with, you know, as a conclusion, as a hypothesis, dealing with all of the information. I'm adding this up. It's like one plus one equals two. Lil Jeff bailed out. You know what I'm saying? Lil Jeff bailed out and Lil Jeff was trying to nail some and he ended up getting nailed. You know? Um, I'm actually hearing, because you know, y'all know like, with this blog and stuff, a lot of information come to you after a person dies. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these guys don't be wanting to say nothing while a person is alive. But I'm hearing that Lil Jeff was really out, really out, really doing that shit that he was rapping about. You know what I'm saying? And um, Lil Jeff actually did just get caught. Nobody didn't slide on Lil Jeff. Lil Jeff was actually out there trying to catch another body. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... He, he, he died doing what he loved to do. And that was slide, you know? Um, rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers. Shorties in Chicago, take heed to what's going on. Please take heed to what's going on. Because at the end of the day, all of this shit, all of this sliding, all of this gliding, riding, spinning, and taking each other's lives is not worth it, gang. It really ain't, you know? Take it from somebody who done been there and done done that. You know what I'm saying? And done plenty of prison time and ended up getting basically slammed for some shit that 
I ain't gonna say I didn't do, but it, it was a for, for a minor infraction. This was nothing but the universe coming back to see me for all the bullshit that I did in the past, man. Straight up, it's not worth it. After you land in that casket, after you rolling around in that wheelchair, or after you sitting in that prison cell, you'll surely realize that guess what? Being in the streets wasn't worth it. Yeah, it's fun. I'm not gonna lie and act like it's not fun. The money, the women, the adrenaline rush that comes from shooting and, and dodging bullets and all of that shit fun until it happened to you, man. Straight up. Pay attention. I want y'all to take heed because it's been so many that has lost their life that I tried to warn before it happened because we all seen it. We all seen it finna happen. It was moving too fast. It was moving too reckless. Straight up. At the end of the day, ain't nobody perfect. You are going to make a mistake sooner or later. <clears throat> Whether somebody capitalized off it or not, who can tell? Niggas give out passes every day. But niggas get caught every day too. It's your boy SNTV. I'm out.